first thing you need to do is get a gift. If your gift comes in a box, great. If your gift is an awkward shape, not so great. Like, mine is a can that I got from my brother, and I got him, like, six of them. And they kind of fill up the box, but there's, like, a little sliver on the side that I don't want them to bang around and, like, kind of know what it is. So, I'm going to crumple up tissue paper and just put it in there so it doesn't go bang, 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 bang. Bang, 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 bang. So, you're going to do that. Box is full. <laughs> you can still hear the liquid move, but that's too bad. So. Put it together. I just like cheapy, whatever this kind of tape you want to call it. I don't know what it's called. Regular tape. Doesn't have to be like mailing tape. You just need to hold it so you get the wrapping paper on. I like a saw. Okay. And then I took off all the stickers and everything because I didn't want anything on the box. So you can tell I like ripped something off there and there. And then the numbers that someone had colored on, I just quickly scratched out. So the next thing is to measure out to wrapping paper, which I'm going to have to move the camera because it wouldn't fit. Okay. So, don't judge my floor. There's pine needles from the tree. You're going to take your wrapping paper, or my flip-flops because I'm still wearing flip-flops. Take the wrapping paper. Okay. Pretty colored, decorated side, whatever you want to call it the correct side, you're going to put the wrong side or the white side. Sometimes there'll be like grid marks for you. That's going to come up. As line it up at the corner here, okay? And you're going to count your, your flips. So this is one side, one side down. There's two. There's three, and we're not going to make four. So it can't go this way. We're going to have to do it. This is like width-wise. I'm going to do it long-wise. Okay? So, we're going to rotate the box. Hold yourself right there. To be like so. So, we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to measure it up the corner there. Like that. Okay? I do mine really tight, too. So, there's one. I'm gonna flip it too. Oh, it's heavy. There's three. Yes. Whoa! I didn't tighten. <laughs> and four. So I'm gonna need to come at least to about here. Okay, because you want that just a tiny bit extra. You know, you start cutting and then you can just push the scissors like that. Ta-da! I'll cut. Okay, so now we have the piece of paper as big as we need for our box. Um, for the side, I don't know because it's not a very wide paper. Sometimes you can cut some off and use it like for other things like maybe the size of a book. Or a movie. You need one side. What a small side worth. So I've got it matched up. I'm going to flip it. And then see all this extra here? There's like enough for my hand. It would be enough for like a book. Just looking for a book. Like let's say a book. Okay. You could totally wrap a book this way. Don't judge me. I love those. <laughs> Um, so I'll cut that off. I don't need you to get out of the way. Bruh. We're not slide. Sometimes it doesn't slide. Don't push it because then you rip it. I thought I was good in front of the camera. If my sweater falls down and blocks your view, I'm so sorry. I hope it doesn't though.
That sounded really bad. Hi! Hi! Okay, so this extra piece of paper, it's gone. So now you're left with a piece of paper, and you want to put the top down in the center because that's going to be your top. So this is your bottom, the nice well taped side. Okay. And you want it centered like from this side on the sides, not this way, but from these sides. Which I think we kind of are. Let's see, one, two, three. And it depends on what pattern you have on your paper. Can I kind of help you? Brush the pine needle off. So now, now that we've got that, I'm gonna pull this up and over. All I do is pull the paper up from the side. Some people tape it here. You don't have to, you can. It's not a very straight cut, <laughs> if you can tell. I am because I'm gonna have to wrap the rest with one pre or one hand. Because I'm holding the camera with the other. I'm gonna take the tape. Right there, look at that. It's on it enough. And the other side. Oh, look at that. This one's like a straight cut. I am gonna try and match up the um. Yeah, I fixed it. Okay, so it's here. I'm gonna put this one up. I'm just kind of fake it to line up. Piece of tape. Voila. So now your sides. Now you have to do your sides. I like to scrunch them. It doesn't hurt the wrapping paper because it all gets tucked in. So there's two ways of doing it. The first way is, let's say, the back, the sides, and the front. And the other way is the two sides in, the back, and the front. I'm going to show you the back end first. It's going to make sense. Maybe if you can see it, like from where my head is, it would make the most sense. Alright. So if you put this side in, and then this side, okay, so let me do that really quick. I need another hand! Alright. So, side one is the back. Okay, so that's the first side. Okay, then you can put in either side, doesn't matter, this is just the side I was working with. There's side two. It's alright, it's not always gonna be perfect. Side three, what's going on? There you go, side four. And you know what? Look at how well that that like turned out. You can just tuck that under. Look at that. So we're gonna add a piece of tape. Tape across it. You can reinforce your corners. This makes it a little more challenging for them to open. So that's one way. So that was this one in, then these two, and then this one folds on top of it. The other way to fold the sides oh, is like this. Okay, you can see this. You fold this side in. No, what's this side? You fold this side in first, because this is the one that's on the inside. That. Crease that. Okay, so you have the side folded in. Then you crease this side. And there's the other side. Also crease. You can just fold this over. Okay, so now what you have is your two sides creased. Then this one. I 
from that one. And tape. And then you can see two sides came in and then these two come in kind of the same too. I don't like this one as much. I like the other one better. This one. I don't know. I just think it looks nicer. Alright. So that is how you put the actual wrapping paper on it. There it is. There's our present. You can add, well, you can add ribbon on it. I'm not going to because it's going to sit on the bottom and the cat likes to eat the ribbon. You can add, I'll add a bow probably in one of the corners. You could add it in the center. You could add it down here on the front too. And you add a name tag and it's done. It's that really, really big box. That was not the funnest. And look at it compared to like, that's a big box. And he guesses what it is. Anyway. That was slightly hard to wrap, but it wasn't like impossible. It's just, it's heavy. I would say it weighs, I think the box had like 75 pounds. So flipping that was like a challenge. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap some more. Good luck, and if this is too hard, that's too bad, then you just can't wrap presents. Put it in a bag with some tissue paper. People still love you. It's true. I don't really care if it's wrapped or not. It's just funner to like wrap. The... It's just fun to wrap. It's just fun to wrap. It's fun to pull the wrapping paper off than it is to pull something out of a bag.